Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel VBA video, we are going to look at the different types of loops that are available to us in Microsoft Excel. In the previous few videos, we have already taken a look at the for loop in detail. Now for loop is one of the most popular loops that we have in Microsoft Excel. But this does not mean that it is the only loop that we have got. We have actually the four loops in Microsoft Excel and these are for loop, which we have already studied about. Then we have for each next loop, do while loop and the do until loop. Now the reason why we have these four loops is because all of these four loops are different in their syntaxes. They accept different kind of values, but their function is common. That is, they used to iterate over and over and perform the uh, repeated tasks again and again. All of these loops are used to ease out our work. They are used to actually iterate multiple times over the same thing and uh, used whenever we have to do the redundant job. So when we look at for loop, we know that for the for loop to work, what do we need is the starting and the ending value to be present. So the for loop can only work when we know exactly that how many times we need to execute the loop, what is the starting value of the loop and what is the ending value of the loop, then only the for loop can work. But this is not always the scenario when we exactly know that how many times we need to execute the loop. So to overcome all of our problems, we have these different types of loops available with us. And these loops are something known as for each next loop, do while loop and do until loop. Now each and every loop has its own features, has its own properties, which we are going to see in today's video. So let us create a new sheet. This is sheet five and let us insert a new module and let's name this module as loop types so that we are able to understand that what we are going to do with this uh, module or with this macro that is we are going to study the different types of loops that we have. So let's create a sub procedure and also name it as loop types so that this is actually the name of our macro itself loop types open and close the parenthesis and write ends up to make sure that VB recognizes it as a sub procedure. Now uh, let us first write in the comments that what loop types we have. We have a loop known as for loop. We have already looked at it. So I'm not going to uh, discuss about it. Then we have next loop, which is known as the for each next loop. Then we have something known as the do while loop. And then we have something known as do until loop. So these are the four types of loops that are available to us in Visual Basic. Let us start with the for each next loop. So to start with it, let us first uh, look at its syntax. Uh, in the for loop, we looked at an example in which we displayed the name of all of the sheets that were available in the current workbook to us. So we are going to look at the same example but with the help of the for each next loop. So for that purpose, uh, let us just write the for each next loop. So first of all, let me just write this code dim SHT as worksheet. And then I'm going to write this for each loop. Each SHT as uh, this workbook dot sheets actually it's going to be in this work book dot sheets and then you need to write the piece of code which is the name of the sheet so let's just write this next statement and here let's just um, display it in the form of a message box as sht dot name so this is the piece of code 
that you need to write this whole four line of code that you need to write for the for each loop to display the name of all the sheets now we have taken a message box over here um so let us understand the working of the for each loop first of all we have declared a variable named sht as a worksheet variable which means sht will hold the worksheets as the whole okay now uh, using the for each loop we have to write the in keyword like in the for loop we wrote the keyword 2 so in the for each loop we have to write the in keyword sht is the variable that is of type worksheet so we write for each worksheet in this workbook dot sheets now this workbook we know this is an object which is used to refer to the present workbook when we write dot sheets which means that it is going to hold the uh, collection of the sheets that are available in the present workbook so this is basically this workbook dot sheets basically holds the collection of all the sheets that are available in the current workbook and all of these sheets would be stored in sht one by one that means when the iteration is at number one sheet one is stored then when it uh, executes this statement which is in the body of the for each next loop the operation that we require would be performed in the first sheet that is sht dot name right now in the first execution sht is holding sheet one so the name sheet one would be shown in the message box and then when we go to next then the next sheet from this workbook dot sheets that is sheet two would be uh, stored in sht and then the execution would be taken place with sheet two so that's how the for each next loop works that is it does not require any starting or the ending value the only thing that it requires actually is the sheet itself or the object itself the collection of the objects which is nothing but this and to access that collection a variable or an iterator of the object type so whenever you are trying to use the objects you are advised to use the for each next loop and let's just uh, look at it by using the step into function so this is the first statement message box sheet dot name when we execute this we get sheet one then we go to next then the second sheet name that is sheet two then again next then the third sheet name that is sheet three then again next then the fourth sheet name that is sheet four again next and then the fifth sheet name that is sheet five so that's how it works so you must be wondering that uh, it may only work for the message box but that's not the case you can also show it in the form of the cells how can you do that for that purpose you need to declare an um, integer variable suppose i declare them i as integer and i uh, just initialize i with one so in the cells i comma one i want to show the sheet name and once it's been shown then i want to change the value of i i want to uh, increment it by one so i equals to i plus one this is what i write now if i just try to execute it then what happens is right now the value of i is one so in one comma one we get sheet dot name sht dot name that is sheet one then the value of i increments by one that is it changes to two then the next option so now two comma one sheet two and so on three four and five so that's how it works that's how you can use the for each next loop you can iterate through it and that's how it works so this was all about the for each next loop that you need to understand and that is all for this video also in the next video we are going to cover this do while and the do until loop and understand their working with the help of the examples so uh, this is all for today's video and thanks for watching